Hey you guys, welcome back. I just want to talk to you guys about the struggle. The struggle is real. For real. It's hard at times, you know? Times you might want to give up. You might can't see no way out. You might really want to really, really, really give up this time. But I'm here to tell you this. The light. I am the light to tell you this. Because I realize a lot of people are surrounded by darkness. That's all they can see. But I'm the light and I'm someone I can see ahead. And when you go through the struggle, for the most part, it's a test, yes. But for the most part, it is probably a next step in your life, a next phase of your life. You know, we always struggle in everything. But I want to tell you people this. There is beauty on the other side of the struggle. There is beauty. You see when you have the rainbow, how they say, you know, when you watch the cartoons, how they will have, like, you know, there's a pot of gold on the other side of the rainbow. You just have to follow the rainbow. Follow it. Yes. Look at your pain and your struggle as a rainbow. As I keep saying, God speaks to us in parables, you know? You just have to be smart to really understand the parables that God speaks in. And because God gave me a lot of gifts and he gave me a lot of inner wisdom and inner strength to know that there is beauty on the other side of pain. Because that's something that everybody don't have, you see? A lot of people might have the money, the wealth, the riches. But you see, money, wealth, and riches, they can't buy tenacity. Money can't buy discernment. Money can't buy God's light to see in this dark world. Money can't buy strength. Money can't buy positivity. The only thing money can do is guaranteed comfort. That's all money can do. But what I would say is this because I can see something is coming up right now. I can see it because I can see the light. There's something that is about to happen that God actually woke me up. A time where I know something is happening in the atmosphere. But he wants his children to be ready and prepare. I can see something happening to God's people. You might look at it as a bad way or you might look at it as a good way, you know. But I can see something happening in the next couple of months. That's why God woke us up and God prepare us and everything. So when it hit, it would hit us as hard as the others that live in the darkness. But you guys, the struggle is real for real. But I want to tell you all this. If you really, really, really believe in God, these are for the believers here, not the non-believers, for the believers. If you believe in God, trust me, you need to know that God will always provide for you. He will provide your necessities for you. He will never let you go day without a meal. God is a provider. God is a way maker. God is a, a path clear. He clear paths. God clears paths. And that is what the enemy don't like. God showed me something like recently and I was like, damn. You see, when you reach a level of awareness and enlightenment, you then, I could not see this before, but I realized how much darkness is in this world. And I'm the only light in my reality where I am. Like so much darkness. But guess what? When that light gets to flicking and awning, 
the darkness disappears. And that is the best thing about the light. So you people, do not succumb, do not be succumbed by the darkness. I know sometimes you might feel like you're struggling, like I said, sometimes you might feel like you're on the waters drowning. But trust me, God is a way maker and he's a path clearer because he will move the darkness out of your path so you can see the light. God is the only way. And this is why people like me have been under attack for so long. Under attack for so long to keep us blind with the rest of sheeple. You know? Damn, man. This world is evil. Well, I'm lying. I'm sorry. God created this world beautiful. It's the people that are in this world that want to dominate this world that are evil. They want to dominate the world in the, in the wrong ways, in the worst ways, to keep God's people in submission to this matrix. They want God's people in submission to this fuck-ass matrix. I said they want God's people in submission to the darkness. When in reality, behold the power. I would, I would never stop saying that until my deathbed. We hold the power. And if you don't know the, if you don't know that you have the power, probably the, the darkness. They stifle your power away from you. We, we, me, hold the power. I hold the power. Don't let no one use your power against you. I will always say that. Don't let no one stifle your energy. Don't let no one use your power against you. I see a lot of things are happening around me. You know. To see if I would, you know, for... But, this matrix needs to collapse. That's why they need us. They need our, I would never stop to stretch this. But I'm back to the struggle again, you guys. Always remember, yes, times might be hard, yes. The struggle is real, like I said. But always know that God is a provider. He's a way maker. He would never let his children lack nothing. He would never. So with that being said, you guys have a beautiful week. And I have another video coming about perspective. Because perspective is what we need in this world. You see, from the moment we have perspective, our life changes. Perspective change lives. If you have that same old victim mentality, you will be stuck in your reality, stupid. So that video will be coming soon. Love you.